I mean, the, the, we've talked about the quarterbacks. You know, you start off obviously with Trey Lance, and then Jimmy Garoppolo is playing the best football of his career, and now Brock Purdy. Um, Brock said this. He said that um, he wanted to earn the respect of the guys who's been here, you know, who've been here. He comes in as seventh round pick, zero expectations, but he wanted to just kind of earn the respect of, of you and the other guys. Yeah. How did he go about that? He he just he worked so hard. You never really heard him. There's a thing with with when new guys come into the building that you never want to hear somebody talking too much until they've gone out there and they've really shown it and proved it. And you can see what kind of gamer they are. And that's that's exactly what Brock did. He wasn't that guy in the locker room that just yapping all the time, that loud rookie. He was just a guy that kept his nose down. He worked really hard and he played really well and that honestly that's where you get everyone's respect is is how you go out there and play and how you prepare the way we've seen him prepare each week even when he wasn't the starter that's how you gain guys respect that when you get your opportunity and you go take advantage of it you can't not respect it was there ever a point or at what point did you realize hey this guy's pretty good too and you know they ended up keeping him on the 53 man yeah. which shows you a lot yeah, it was during the preseason games um, when sometimes that, like we didn't even expect that he was going to get in as much. And then, um, you know, we would hear the, the quarterback rotation for that game. And I was like, all right, let's let's see what Purdy can do out there. And um, I think each game he went out there, just you gain more and more respect because you could see what kind of gamer he was. And I mean, when Jimmy goes down in that game against Miami, I think the first thought of everybody certainly outside the building was the season's over. Was that ever really a thought for you guys? Like the chance that you guys had right. to to go all the way now is diminished greatly. Right. I don't think the thought of seasons over ever hit um, in in the, that particular game. When it, whenever your quarterback goes down or a star player goes down, um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna think about the gravity of that um, and how you're gonna recognize this is a big deal that Jimmy just went down. Um, but because so quickly Brock stepped in there and played so well, you never get to that point of, oh, the season's over. I think he played so well in that game that it gave us a lot of hope and we got that hope quickly. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then it's like, all right, there's, there's a possibility here. We can stew everything we want. But at that point, we just feel like it's just a possibility. And then he goes out there, continues to prove it game after game that, I feel like we're right back to where we we have full confidence that we can do everything that we had planned. Is this true that he even tells veterans to shut up in the huddle? <laughs> it's happened a few times. <laughs> <laughs> These are true stories. <laughs> Were you the subject of any of those uh, shut ups? No, 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 I haven't been one of those. I try to be respectful in there, <laughs> but, uh, but he's he's told a couple guys. And what is, I mean, it. how do you take that when or how? Or how it's, is, it's never anything demeaning. It's just, you know, it, Anytime the the quarterback steps into the huddle, everyone is quiet. So, you know, he can do his thing. And um, it's just been times when, you know, guys are just going back and forth about what just happened or like what we're about to do, where he's just like, shut up, let's go. And then, you know, then he calls the play. 